Hey everyone and welcome back to your next episode of Cooking with Nicole. Today we're going to make some breakfast chaffles. What is a chaffle you might ask? Well a chaffle is a waffle made with cheese. So we're, we're creating a waffle that is so much lower in carbs, so much better for you, but equally as delicious and filling. So yesterday I went shopping at our great store Target and I found these adorable little mini waffle makers. This is by the Dash Company. Um, it is the teeniest, tiniest little waffle maker. The surface, the cooking soft surface is four inches. Um, for this recipe, you can use your regular eight inch waffle iron, or if you have one that has, um, that makes four, whatever, that works just fine and actually would probably speed up the process, quite honestly. But we're gonna play, I bought two of them because they were the whole whopping price of $9 each. Um, and so to be able to make two at a time. So we were gonna use our little four inch waffle irons. Um, I've got four whole eggs in our mixing cup here and we're gonna use the blender um, to make this, put this all together. A teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of almond flour, and three tablespoons of sugar-free Hungry Jack Butter Flavor uh, Pancake Syrup. Um, that's going to give this a great little buttery maple flavor for the background. After I practiced this, I did practice this recipe because I wanted to see how it turned out. The, the flavor reminded me of a McDonald's McGriddle. Um, and so you could make these chaffles in advance and put them in a Ziploc bag and keep them in the refrigerator for the week. Um, some great ways to add to this is by frying up some eggs um, and, or getting like the little sausage patties at the grocery store. You could microwave them for like a minute or two, put one on the top of one of your chaffles, an egg, a piece of cheese, and then another chaffle on the top, and you would have your own McGriddle, but in a much more healthier um, way. It would be uh, probably a minimum of 10 grams of carbs, which is way better than the 35 to probably 40 grams that they're going to run you. Um, they did toast up really well in the toaster when you wanted to reheat them. Um, so the whole let go of my ego, there you go. These are just like egos um, that you could get out of your refrigerator, pop into your toaster, and off you go for the day. So let's make some chaffles, shall, shall we? Um, so I have my four eggs and we're going to add to it the uh, one teaspoon of baking powder, our three tablespoons of sugar-free syrup, and our two tablespoons of almond flour. And we're gonna take Careful, don't cut yourself with the blades on your blender or your Nutribullet, you could use that as well. And we're just gonna screw this on good and tight. And we're gonna blend it until it is nice and frothy. We're gonna, I'm gonna blend it real quick, we'll bring you right back because this guy is noisy. Okay, welcome back. So we've got our egg mixture all blended up nice and smooth and you can see how it's a little bubbly on the top. That's that frothiness because you want this to be able to fluff up in the waffle iron. So I have my two little uh, dash waffle irons plugged in and heating up. Once the light goes off of the top of this, it's ready to go and it really doesn't take that long. Um, so once this is all ready to go, what we're gonna do is I have already measured out five ounces of shredded mozzarella cheese. We're going to take uh, about a tablespoon of the mozzarella cheese, put it on the bottom of the waffle maker, and then we're gonna spoon out about one to one and a half tablespoons of the egg mixture into the waffle iron. You could try doing two tablespoons of the egg mixture into the waffle iron. I did try all that this morning and it did ooze out over the side. What I found uh, that worked best was actually about one and a half tablespoons. So I just heard my little waffle irons kicking in here and kicking on. And so I am going to open them up here and we are going to 
measure out that that tablespoon of mozzarella and just sprinkle it down into the inside. You can hear it sizzling. This is going to create the base or what holds the egg mixture together. Big safety feature, do not reach over the top of your irons because the heat and the steam will raise out and you could definitely burn yourself. And so now we're gonna take our tablespoon of the egg mixture and we're gonna just pour that down over the top. So there was a full tablespoon and there is two tablespoons and you can see how it's filling in real nice. Um, and you're gonna leave a little room because we're gonna put another tablespoon of the mozzarella cheese on the top here. Push it all in and we cook. And you're gonna cook it for approximately three minutes or until the waffle is golden or that the cheese on top of it is a nice golden brown consistency. This recipe makes 10 four inch chaffles. If you're using the bigger size iron, that is going to make one serving size. The eight inch one is going to make um, two, or what would be one serving size at one time. And then if you're using the uh, four inch waffle iron, each one of those little rectangular squares is going to be one chaffle. So we're just gonna let these cook down. And like I said, there's a number of things that you can do, and this week I'm gonna feature the chaffle quite a bit. We're, today this one is for breakfast, but I'm gonna try to make some that are, would be a great savory snack um, and some dessert options as well. So I hope you stay tuned to the chaffle series. I was always intrigued by these guys um, when I saw them on Pinterest and I've had patients actually tell me about them and so when I saw that the little mini waffle makers were at Target yesterday, I couldn't resist. I've been having fun with some new cooking equipment. So uh, these should be about ready. What you're going to do is you're just going to lift it up and check and you can see how it's a nice golden texture on the top and the cheese on the bottom is holding it together. You're gonna take a fork and you're just going to pry this guy right up out of the waffle iron and it's set to go. There you go. And then you would just continue to make the chaffles uh, until your batter is all gone. You could eat these just plain with some pancake syrup and butter if you'd like, or like I said, you can definitely make them into a breakfast sandwich if you'd like. This is your sweet deal for today. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll talk to you soon.